So which food was the worst? Oh, yeah. the worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did you enjoy the food most in South Korea? The worst food in South Korea. I, I guess I mentioned earlier I'm quite picky eater when it comes to when it comes to you know what I have in my daily routine. Actually, I do remember eating. A, is it called pupa? It's like an insect. Um, oh. Dead insects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell it yeah, in yeah. Market stalls. <laughs> I've tried that one, and I would say yes. That now that I think about it, that was not good. I do not recommend. I I tried it knowing that it wouldn't be that good. I think I was like, I'm going to try it just because it looks so bad. You you know, you, you were talking you were talking about the flat bed look. I mean, look like maggot. Yes, the small thing. Yeah, that's yeah, the, the small one. flat and the brownish yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a little maggot and it's a massive bowl all together. Oh, it looks horrible, but I had okay. to have it. I had to try it. I just felt like it was like one of those things you got to do, you know, try it once and never try it again. That was not tasty. Not tasty. No. And Sunday, you know Sunday? Pig intestine? I have seen it advertised, but yeah, I've right. never tried it. You I'm not I'm sure. Not. Yeah, but there are so many restaurants. Yeah. 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 Pig intestine soup and pig intestine thing. Like, I mean, yeah. they are all steamed. They are all like not. I mean, you, you don't need raw. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> whether it's raw, whether it's cooked, I'm not sure I'd be <laughs> okay. keen on eating it either way. Yeah. Just like maybe pork, like, I mean, when you think of like meat, oh. Um, so compared to the price, the I mean, food prices in your country. How 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 is it South Korea? Um, I think for eating out, Korea is is a little bit better. Yeah. So eating out at a pretty good restaurant, I think you can get really quality food in Korea for fairly reasonable price. I wouldn't say cheap. I still think it's it's not cheap. But if you're comparing it to Ireland, in Ireland, if you go out and have a really quality meal, um, you're going to pay quite a bit of money. You couldn't do it every day, whereas here you could probably do it every day. It's not yeah, yeah. what restaurants yeah. you could go to. Yeah, you're gonna get a reasonably priced meal. Yeah, a good filling right. meal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, if you set the budget like ten ten bucks, mm. ten bucks for a meal, mm. yeah, you can you can eat reasonable. I mean, quite uh, quite good quality of food. Good quality. Yeah, yeah. good quality. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not in Ireland with just 10 bucks. No, no, you definitely have to pay more than that. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, do you guys have to think about tips too? Um, tips, not in Ireland. Um, okay. I know in a lot of Western countries that's really important, like in the States, that's yeah, yeah. of huge importance. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people from the US would probably come over here and realize no tipping culture. So yeah. it's a big positive for them. It takes a lot of price out of the food. Uh, it costs away, but uh, the service here is I've been filming, I found is pretty good anyway. Okay, you know, it's, it's not like you, you suffer for service over here, mm -hmm. yeah. You don't, you don't have to think about the tipping, yeah. It's yeah. it is good, definitely. Yeah. But some, I mean, well, if you go, if you have to go to bar, then well, you may think of like tip um, for bartender, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, bar yeah. is a little bit different, yeah. That's a, like yeah. a different setting, yeah. Mm -hmm. anyway. 